Today, we're going to be using a Miradine 17MR electric chicken color. This is a suspended twitch bait, and I'm going to show you a hack later on in this video that I think you're really going to like. It's going to put more fish in a box and make your life a whole lot easier throwing this bait. If you like inshore saltwater fishing, hit that subscribe button. I put out a video every Sunday morning at 9 o'clock. If you like the hack, smash that like button. I'd appreciate it. Help me out a lot. All right, right off the bat, second cast. Got a little speck. Not the size we're looking for. Nevertheless, the speckled trout. That fish is so cold. Ooh, that fish is cold. All right, thanks for the fight, little guy. Let's see if we can get some bigger ones. Well, you want to work these baits, you want to twitch, twitch, pause action, and they love hitting it on the paws. All right, better fish or foul hook. I think I got him foul hook. All right, foul hook trout. He's gonna be a little short. Sorry about that, dude. Thanks for the fight. All right, here we go. Another trout. It's almost every cast, y'all. Seems like a little bit better fish. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He might keep. All righty. There we go. He's going to be close. He is going to be close. All right. Get them hooks out of your mouth. Get a measurement on him. Oh, yeah. 15-inch fish. Speckle trout number one. Going in the box. I love throwing this 17 MR. Love it when those trout hit that twitch bait. We're just giving a twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause, twitch, twitch, pause. 90% of the time, if you see me throwing a Miradine, it will be that electric chicken color. Something about it in clean, cold water, the trout just absolutely tear up. A little bit later on in this video, we're going to go over the setup and I will show you my Miradine hack that I'm using that will definitely make your life easier and help you catch more trout. There we go. Another trout, baby. Another trout. Looks like a little bit better fish. About the same size as the other ones. God, this is so much fun. I mean, they are hammering this bait every freaking cast. He's got some size to him. He may keep. He got a little weight to him. Fifteen inches, y'all. Going in the box. Get in there, boy. Right there at the boat. <laughs> right there at the boat, y'all. Got another one. Woo. Short guy. Let him go. Let him grow up. The sun's out, I need my sunglasses on anyway, but especially when you're throwing those treble hooks, it's always a good idea to put your sunglasses on. These are my Fishing 419 sunglasses. I've had these for about a year now. They're excellent sunglasses, good polarization, lightweight, don't slip off your nose, and you can get a pair for about 40 bucks. And I also have a discount link that'll save you 15% off your purchase. So check out Fish 419 sunglasses. Like I said, I love them. They lightweight, don't slide off your nose. 
get a pair for 40 bucks and then add a 15 percent discount a bayou bandit discount on top of that check them out all right buttoned up on another trout another trout come on get in the boat Yep, a little bit short. Thank you for the fight. This is ridiculous. You want to talk about fun. <laughs> it's almost every cast I'm catching a trout. There we go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, baby. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, good trout, good trout. Good trout. Stay buttoned up. Stay buttoned up. There you go. Come to daddy. Boom. Let's go. Woo, let's go. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Good. Good keeper speckle trout. Look at that, y'all. On the old Miradine, 17 MR. Yes, sir. Look at that good, healthy trout. Woo! Let's go. There we go. There we go. Take a measurement on him. Oh yeah, almost 18 inches, 17 and a half inch trout. Going in the box. Boy, these old speckled trout are stacked up in here this morning. Whoo, I love this time of year. I mean, it's almost every cast. Either I'm getting hit, I'm getting a dink, or I'm getting a keeper. That was a better fish there. That was a good fish. There we go. Buttoned up again. Again. Oh, that's a better fish. That is a better fish. I say that every time. He was just bad foul hooked. Another trout. Another trout. This is insane. I mean, every cast. Every cast we're catching these suckers. Another dink. 14 inches. But God, you want to talk about fun. Oh, this is so, so much fun. Yep, right there again. Right there again. There we go. There we go. There we go. See if we can boat flip him. There we go. And yet another trout. My God, this is this is fun. All right, another 14 and a half inch trout. So close. See, you, dude. All right, buttoned up again. <laughs> this is so insane, y'all. This is so much fun. God, this is so much fun. This is so much fun. <laughs> oh. God, this is so much fun. Oh. I mean, he got both hooks. Tell me they don't want this bait today. Man. Tell you what, they're hammering it. 14 and a half. 
Golly. I'm using my Relentless Series Hobo Custom Rod today. This is a seven foot four medium fast action rod. Right now, between now and Christmas, uh, Hobo Custom Rods is running a sale on these rods. Only $125 for this custom rod, all US built, made right here in Mississippi. Great rod, y'all know I love them. If you want a good Christmas gift for, for that son, wife, dad whatever the case may be do them a favor get them a hobo custom rod so let me show you this hack now uh some of y'all may have picked up on it during the video uh there's always been a dilemma on tying these baits should you tie it tight to the eye i don't think so most people and i used to always do this i tie a loop knot loop knot gives that bait more action when you're twitching it but that front treble hook would always get hung up on that loop so what i did a simple simple cheap free hack if you will i took a split ring off of another bait and i always put that split ring right there on that eye and that gives me that range of motion I need without that big fat loop knot being there. And rarely, rarely does that front treble hook ever get hung up. There's nothing for it to hang up on. I'd say 90% of the time I have no issues. Every now and then, and I think it happens on the cast, every now and then when you cast it, it will loop up on the line. But you have no big loop knot right there to get in your way. and you still look at look at that action you've got because you've got that split ring right there that bait can wiggle that bait can do whatever it wants to do and that saves you a lot of time because you're not constantly having a half a retrieve you're having to come back reel it in because you see that bait's acting all crazy unhang that front hook out of that loop and you've got that action and you're not fooling around with your bait you're fishing with your bait and that'll put more trout in your box i hope that hack was helpful if it was go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you hadn't already smash that like button and if you didn't see me in the bayou you can see me right here on bayou bandit charters every sunday morning nine o'clock see y'all on the next one